My name's Grace and I'm from Sunderland and I'm here at the Guide Dogs National Breeding Centre in Livingston Spa to learn more about the Guide Dogs journey. When someone in the UK loses their sight, the charity works hard to ensure they don't lose their freedom by enlisting the support of a highly trained guide dog. The centre can breed up to 1,500 puppies a year. There could be 200 puppies here at any one time. Needless to say, I'm pretty excited. We're at the Welping Block, which is where the pups are born. I'm here with the newborn puppies, but I must be quiet so I don't disturb. Here we have puppies just over one week old and they remain here until they are about five weeks old. So let's go into the puppy block. <laughs> Hello. Guide Dogs is the largest breeder of working dogs in the world. It's amazing to think that after their training these pups will go on to change someone's life. These pups will become working guide dogs by the time they celebrate their second birthday. I'm here with Chris who works at the puppy block. Chris, what goes on here? Well, the pups come in when they're about six weeks old. We weigh them, we give them a quick MOT, we socialise them and we have lots of fun and lots of play, don't we? So the average litter size is about seven puppies and we weigh them weekly to make sure they're in top health. When puppies leave the puppy block to join walkers, what happens next? When the pups leave here and join the walkers, it's their job to socialise them, take them to cities, get them used to sights and sounds, and generally get them ready to become a guide dog. This year there are about 1,500 puppies puppy walking in the UK. At 14 months old, the puppies start their formal guide dog training at one of the training sites across the UK. They spend around five months with a trainer learning the key skills to be a guide dog based on obedience, following key commands and recognising obstacles. We are now in the puppy profile room. This is a special place where puppies play games to help find the best suited puppy home. Puppy! 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 This puppy's done really well in her profile. Guide dogs need lots and lots of training. I'm with Mark, who's been a trainer for years, and this is Upton. Uh, the puppies start their formal training about 14 months of age, um, where they learn key aspects. Um, one of those key aspects is uh, obstacle avoidance, and Upton and I are going to take you over the obstacles right now. Upton, off you go. Good girl, well done. It's pretty scary, and that and feel how like people who are blind feel. Like, I can't see anything. After the early training stage, uh, each dog goes on to a mobility instructor and each dog is, is unique to each owner and it's carefully matched with the speed, the height and the lifestyle that the owner leads. There are nearly 2 million people in the UK with sight loss. By 2050, this figure is expected to double. Every single hour, a person in the UK goes blind. It costs around £50,000 to take one of these gorgeous puppies through its life as a guide dog from birth through to retirement. Guide dogs receive no government funding, it relies on the generous support of the public. I've had a great day here and I've learned how much care is needed to breed and train guide dogs.